On February 5th, 2015, six members of the Sheriff's Emergency Response Team fully dressed in body biohazard suits and gas masks knocked on Natasha McKenna's cell door. They were aware that Natasha had a history of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and depression dating back from the age of 14 and that her mental health had been deteriorating. They restrained her with handcuffs, tied her legs, and placed a spit mask over her head. She was fully naked, and at no time did they cover her up. The huge men struggled with the five-foot, four-inch, 130-pound woman for 45 minutes. Natasha tried to stop the six men from placing her in a restraint chair. A sheriff's deputy used a stun gun to tase her four times delivering a total of 50,000 volts of electricity through her body. She went into cardiac arrest and lost consciousness, and after five days, she was declared brain dead and removed from life support. Natasha was pronounced dead on February 8, 2015. The Virginia Medical Examiner's Office determined that her cause of death was accidental, and there have been no criminal charges filed against the officers involved. While the FBI and the Department of Justice have opened independent investigations into Natasha McKenna's death, no outcome has yet been reached. Today, standing up for the rights of those who are marginalized and discriminated against in our communities and nation is more important than ever. Please support these organizations and learn more about the countless ways racism and bigotry affect this country.